and through three minute rounds in front of a super heavyweight category 91 kilos plus so Harry Armstrong from Apollo in the red corner Simon Niseta and Tim in Norway he's a big lad Harry Armstrong His opponent's not small either. But Armstrong certainly got the height advantage. Just fights a little bit taller as well, doesn't he? Slightly more upright. As uh, Simon may say, to just uh, sort of slightly more crouched. Can make you a little bit more explosive with those legs bent. Oh, he's added a nice shot there. Got a good left hook through as well. Nisata. But with big men like this, it's super heavy. There's just going to be weight behind these punches. The first super heavyweights we've had in ring A so far in this tournament. The winner last year. Joe Joyce win the super heavyweight last year. I'm not sure he was in it last year, but I'm sure he's won here in the past. He's definitely competed here before. Yeah, of course it wouldn't have been last year. Well, Joe was in the ABAs last year, and so, so not every time, not every year, do you get the top international G bo GB boxers entering the national championships. We did last year. Joe Joyce won the ABAs, and he boxed all the way through, actually, from the London stages. So he would have been boxing events just like this. Well, obviously not as big as this, but against against the kind of guys you're going to be seeing in here. He came all the way through the England Boxing National Elite Championships won them again as he'd won them before that made sure of his spot for the Commonwealth Games where he took another impressive gold medal a terrific run in the WSB earlier on this year very very narrow narrowly missing out on his uh, Olympic qualification spot by that method he won something like nine or ten contests on the spin there only losing out one to a very very hotly disputed decision and uh, Lucky not to have booked his place. We wouldn't bet against him to qualify for next year's Rio Olympics. It is going to be hard, though. WSB is an event that's over five rounds, and it seemed to sort of suit a relentless boxer like Joyce, who's a really high work rate for a super heavyweight. You know, yeah, he beat the Cuban in the WSB, which is good going. But it's it, uh, it wasn't Eris Landy Savon, it was Lernio Terro. Right. But he beat him in Havana, just some achievement, so he won it very clearly. However, in the qualification tournaments he's going to have to go through now, he's going to be coming up against these tough Europeans, sort of big punching Russians. Magomed Drassel Medzidov is quite a beast at super heavyweight. The world, world Championship finalist, wasn't he? Two-time world championship two world gold medalist, so he's the last man to beat an Anthony Joshua. Yeah. And he can really bang. That's right, yeah, 2011 it was, yeah, certainly can. And, uh, and actually, in the coming days, Joe could well end up boxing him in his own, yeah. in his own country. Goodness me, what a prospect that is. Which is a fate you wouldn't really wish on any, most people. Any man, although <laughs> Joe Joyce isn't just any man, so... <laughs> Oh, suddenly a wave of peace has just washed over the uh, arena. A couple of the rings have started to empty and the action is winding down. We're not operating in all four rings now. And uh, as I say, as the action winds down, you can keep your eyes on a few of the contests here. We will be back with you live on the telly from 1 p.m. all the way through to late with every single final contest. It's on the TV and online as well. To be sure to catch us right here. This one into round two to Harry Armstrong and Simon Isata. Jab to the head, then to the body from Isata. Oh, and Armstrong comes back at him. 
throwing a good uppercut, Armstrong, but that shot earlier on left him open. It's going to say to the left hook. He needs to be careful with that. Actually, for a tall boxer, Armstrong in the red is the, sort of the shots you need. A relatively speedy jab that he's been sticking to. And then just scooping the uppercut into the shorter man when he steps in close. Oh, spike behind that one two hook combination. And he's in another left hook to the body. It was caught one to the head from this Sator in response. Harry Armstrong. For a big, arm, for a big man, Armstrong's getting up on his toes, buzzing around him. I'm going to say, very mobile indeed, isn't he? Snapping jab there. Lands just above the left eye of Niseta. Armstrong needs to find his rhythm a little bit more. But again, as soon as he starts to find it, Niseta just clubs in one of those left hooks and redresses the balance. Terrific, just jabs his way in, Armstrong throws the uppercut through the middle. Sato hasn't really been, well, he hasn't really been hurt. Still there, trundling forward now. Actually, in the periods, spells of his raiding tactics from Armstrong, where he has had success, and Sato has often been the last to have the final say in the exchange. Even with a single shot, the left hook has landed on occasion. Just left you the impression that even when Armstrong has had pure success, that he's not out of the contest. So really interesting contest developing at the end of the second round. One of these men will feature in the 91 plus super heavyweight final tomorrow afternoon. So you can get in touch with us at London Live on Twitter and Facebook at London Live as well. We'd love to hear your comments and thoughts throughout the day tomorrow. Keep us in touch. Just remember, we've got those four live web streams, one of which you'll be watching now, but when the action is on TV tomorrow from 1 all the way through till 8 on Sky Channel 117, you'll be able to access any one of those four streams so that you don't miss any of the action whatsoever. It's a terrific setup and shaping up to be a terrific finals day here at the Great Hall in Alexandra Palace. And the final round between Harry Armstrong and Simon Niseta. Super heavyweight semi final. This combination. A jab to the body from Niseta. Grunts from Armstrong as he throws those hooks in. Armstrong's quite aggressive behind this jab, so he sort of uses it to launch himself forward. Oh, that's a terrific oh, one-two combination from this Ata. And he's put Armstrong back onto his heels. The rope's not been there. He may have seen him hit the canvas. He seems to have his wherewithal. Has he got his legs beneath him? Well, yes, he certainly has. There's a chance for Nisei to that. It might have slipped away from him. Again, nice clubbing left hook, but most of that was worn. The glove of Harry Armstrong. Oh, 
was a nice shot that got through there from Niseta. But Armstrong again standing in the pocket, toe to toe, trading back, bangs a right hook into the body. the body and clubs the overhand right in got the two really trading some solid heavy blows some less movement than we've seen over the first two rounds and both men testing each other's will testing each other's durability in this final round Armstrong maybe starting to tire, snaps gone out of his punch a little bit, hands slower than he were earlier on. But he might have built up a healthy enough lead. And that was a nice left hook and a right Ooh. hand, and that's taken Harry Armstrong's balance away from him. Referee rules it a slip. Two really solid shots landed mm. there, and I think we've seen Stanley eight counts given for less. And well, the I thought. The way Armstrong was swinging as well, he almost swung himself off balance too. Oh, terrific contest and uh, it's good scrap. It was a good scrap indeed and met with applause ringside. And some nice away support behind us as well. Yeah, Norwegians in good spirit. So they should be. They've produced some terrific competitors and a number of number of finalists this afternoon. A worthwhile trip for clubs that have joined us for the Haringey Box Cup. Will Simon Niseta be the next one? Who do you reckon's got it? It's very hard to call. Instinct is Harry Armstrong, but I don't think it's uh, anywhere near as clear cut as some of the bouts we've seen. I wouldn't like to put any stakes on it, so we will find out the official result in just a few moments' time. Good win for Simon Niseta, another boxer from Norway into the final tomorrow. Gutsy display from him and Harry Armstrong. It's close. Goes away, a semi finalist this year. You know, I thought Armstrong did pretty well in the first two rounds, but was a close bout. 